watch her for weeks. Learn her routine when she comes home, when she goes to sleep. In the morning, before the sun comes up, he can walk right up next to her. as children grow out of it and become upstanding, decent human beings. But serial killers who've suffered as children repeat the same mistakes over the course of their lives. They can't make the transition into adulthood. They have trouble making the transition in middle age. And, the, and at the very time in their lives when they feel they should be reaching the pinnacle of success, they find that they're sliding downhill fast. They want to feel important. They want to feel special. They, they, they crave the sense of power and dominance and control, but they simply can't achieve it in any respectable way. And so they kill and they torture and they sodomize and dismember, and that makes them feel good about themselves.
He enjoys the suffering on the part of the victim and he tries to make it slow and painful. It makes him feel superior to the extent that he makes his victim inferior. This is uh, August 20th, 1973. The time is uh, 3.47 p.m. A location is the Hewitt residence um, on Route 17. It's where victim one was found. Uh, we're going to do a walkthrough, and uh, we're now descending the stairs into the furnace room. Uh, there's over here. There's scratch marks along the wall. There's some more over here. Along here. And, oh, there's something over here. Seems Looks like a clot of hair and a embedded finger now. All right, we're going to go move into the uh, actual furnace room. The yeah. events of that day were to lead to one of the most bizarre crimes in the annals of American history. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. My dear Mrs. Budd, I call on you at 406 West 15th Street. Brought you pot cheese, strawberries. We had lunch. Grace sat in my lap and kissed me. I made up my mind to eat her on the pretense of taking her to a party. You said yes, she could go. I took her to an empty house in Westchester I had already picked out. When we got there, I told her to remain outside. She picked wildflowers. I went upstairs and stripped all my clothes off. I knew if I did not, I would get her blood on them. When all was ready, I went to the window and called her. 
Then I hid in a closet until she was in the room. When she saw me all naked, she began to cry and tried to run downstairs. I grabbed her and she said she would tell her mama. First I stripped her naked. How she did kick, bite, and scratch. I choked her to death, then cut her in small pieces so I could take my meat to my rooms, cook and eat it. How sweet and tender her little ass was roasted in the oven. It took me nine days to eat her entire body. I did not fuck her, though I could have had I wished. She died a virgin. Side of respectability. He maintained a business, a family, uh, uh, married with several children, and uh, that facade was uh, sufficient to uh, cover his tracks for many, many years. He enjoyed dressing up in a clown suit and clowning. He said the clowns can get away with murder. Eventually his wife left him, his business started failing, and uh, at that point Gacy was caught, uh, arrested, convicted. And uh, after, again, three appeals in his case, uh, Gacy was executed. Over 90% of serial killers are white males, usually from low to middle class backgrounds. These men are usually intelligent, but as students have difficulty focusing. Most experience the traumatic childhood, often having been abused psychologically, physically, or sexually. Typically, they may be raised in unstable families, often with criminal psychiatric and alcoholic histories. Raised in such families, these children tend to spend much time on their own, and as a result, Many practiced animal cruelty at a young age.
so official, and this monkey is going to Newtown. Uh, 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 uh.